Hi everybody and welcome back to Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz. That's Jack. Here's your cat food away from you. Mm. Petting my cat. cats. That's Loki. It's a good cat. So you try to keep your cats well away from your kitchen while you're cooking or you're gonna get cat hair in your food, which is not good. So today we're gonna do a recipe that's given to me by a friend of mine that's from a LARP. He does SEA, he does AMP Garden stuff. It's a slider, Mr. Rabbit if you know, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, he sent me this recipe. I tried it at his camp. It's great. He always does it in like very uh, like period stuff. So we're gonna do it in a crock pot because we're broke, but it's really cheap, really easy. So let's get into it. So this one looks like a lot of stuff again, and it is. So you're gonna need <laughs> a couple of things of sausage, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and a head of cabbage, right? This is your main stuff. You're gonna want your white onion, some carrots, uh, some celery. You're gonna need like six to eight of those. Two sticks of butter. Two, I tell you. That's a lot of and butter. And some, two of these beef broth. They gotta be the 32 ounce, ounce ones, yeah. And then you either use two cans of tomatoes or you can take some of these tomatoes and slice them and we replaced it with this jalapeno tomato one yeah, for one of the did, small ones. We didn't have enough tomatoes, so we made do. <laughs> so you just go ahead and slice this up. You can make smaller pieces if you want. I always prefer the bigger ones, mostly because I'm lazy. And yeah, it depends <laughs> on how much effort you're willing to put into cutting. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot of sausage. Like, mm -hmm. if you've got a lot of people to feed, it helps it go a lot faster or a lot further if you cut it down to smaller pieces. But I'm a fat guy. I'll be eating this for a week. So, big piece. Yeah. So, I put just a little butter. bit of butter in here. Didn't need to. It's, what, like a tablespoon and a half? Yeah, it looks like maybe two. Just to keep my <laughs> sausage from sticking. Oh, two escaped. That's what they thought. Oh. There we go. Ah. <laughs> That'll learn them. Mm -hmm. Just throw those in there. Didn't get a sausage butt this time. Nope, no sausage mm -hmm. butt. Let that brown a little bit while you're doing that. Knock it around. I mean, there's nothing in there but sausage. You got a bigger skillet, use a bigger skillet. Yeah. Well, that's doing. Wash, wash these. your veggies. Wash all of them. Consider them washed, and then cut these up. Now, just go hack in a slice. Don't let that one get away. We're trying mm. to blend in with the carrots. Yeah, it's gonna hide. <laughs> And then cut these up. Again, bigger, small, it's up to you. I don't put the leaves in my celery here. Just throw that out. The and the, the carrots, side. I don't skin them either. I've always just left the skin on. I've never so. skinned carrots. It's way too much work. <laughs> it is way too much Even work. Even if, I mean, I'm going to eat that part anyway. Yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. make sure, be sure to wash. Because you know, all the crevices and cracks in them, you see there are lines. That's just dirt wedged into the root. These carrots have about the density <laughs> of a brick, so it's kind of hard cutting through them. <laughs> No, Sly usually serves this at his camp, man. No, we dice this tomato. Make the round thing square again. We try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that knife is just apart. mashing it yeah. at this point. It was really dull. So I swapped it out for the sharp one here at Minute Jack. Did I slide it? I don't I think I did. Yeah, that was me going around and getting it just yeah. now. There, there we is. go. Sharp knife. Yeah, 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 there's a sharp knife. It's a little late for the tomato, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tomato just mad. Now, Sly usually serves this out of his camp, man. But he does all period stuff. Yeah. And this fits in perfectly for like LARPing and SCA and all that kind of stuff. And it's great. And especially like on a cold evening. You yeah. sit around with a big wooden bowl full of this stuff. Wooden bowl of stew? No. <laughs> this. Soup? Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be Ellen soup. Ellen soup. soup. No. Some people that I've seen cook cabbage just do it like this. They just cut it in half and that is it. That is wrong. Yeah. No, I take this. You can't see it on camera. I'll show you in a second. But I cut that core out right there. That piece. Yeah. Yeah. If you I'm don't cut this. your cabbage more than less than this, this giant you... leaves no. of cabbage, I'm not a fan of. You need pieces, so, not yeah. whole leaves. <laughs> so here you go. This is showing. I just take two B cuts and just pull there that little, the root out, the stem, the center. Whatever you want to call the core thing. Yeah. And then quarter of the half. So I make eighth. Yeah, eighth you cut it into it. eight pieces. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe people leave that. All. Yeah, that's way too much. So be sure to keep an eye on this. Don't let it burn. You're going to want to brown it a little bit. You just keep it flipped. Like all the meat yeah. is on the metal. That's it. It's yeah. just sausage. I mean, it's already smoked, so it doesn't have to be cooked. Yeah, it's already you cooked. You it's starting to brown. Here, I'll show you. Yeah. Just browning it. That's it. Yeah. It's starting to brown a little bit like this. Get more pieces like that and you're good. But just make sure to turn it. You don't want yeah. one side like. Yeah, you're gonna have, you're gonna have like pieces like that are paint. burnt, and the yeah. rest are just look raw, but they're not raw because it's already <laughs> yeah, smoke. Yeah. yeah, just you want consistency. Paint, you know? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Never mind. <laughs> so there's a special way to put this in here. You can't just throw it in. So you got to start with your carrots. Carrot it's all part of the area code 409 hoodoo. Mm -hmm. So you get this in here. So you put the carrots in first. Not the celery. Not the celery. Leave the celery. Then you put your onions on top of the carrots. Boom. Right? Yeah. If you don't do it this way, it won't work out right. 
I wonder what the magic <laughs> is about this. Uh, but, some druidic stuff. Who knows? Then your celery goes on that. Yeah. All right. Now you got to be careful. Got to be careful of your. No. Oh, make sure you have more celery. Yep. <laughs> you got to make sure on the edge of your crock pot, or you're gonna make four celery. celery. Which is still good. I mean, the whole ten counter, countertops clean, so yeah. yeah. Clean it. Countertop pot stuff. Celery in there, and then get it all kind of mashed flat. Do your stuff. Then your sausage goes on top of those. Sausage. <laughs> just take it. I'm sorry, I poured it away from the camera. That's on me. Then get your beef broth. It's over here, which is already open. Yeah. <laughs> but I still put the lid back on it, and I use that beef broth. To rinse that skillet into. Sorry for the camera the angle. Didn't. No, no, I, I fixed it right here. Yeah. Yeah, you go. There you go. Now you can kind of see me rinse it. Yeah. And pour that in there. I wonder why you rinse the pan with the broth and It helps clean the thing. It's a yeah, more true. delicious way of cleaning instead of using soap. Yeah, and that was the tomato you just yeah, put the in. Tomato after that, and then cabbage right on top of that. Now. Oh wait. That's some of our tomato, tomato. and jalapeno paste that we. Some, uh, Bad, substitute it sitting yeah. around and then you put our cabbage on top and then you start putting your broth on here yeah. now you change the camera here to get a better angle because yeah. our cutting board's all but empty yeah so you got your crock pot in here you know your stuff so you can salt and pepper it here you can salt and pepper it at any point yeah. of this this is just where we happen to like hey if we throw this in and then use the broth to kind of rinse it down into the rest of the vegetables that was the plan yeah i think it worked because yeah. i mean you don't see or do you see it in a moment no. Well, we'll get there. You get the sticks of butter. No, I put one in here. I just kind of see where this broth would mess with it at all. And yeah, it does watch the seasoning. Yeah, just a little bit. So, just <laughs> mash it in there. Since we got two of these, just went ahead and put that whole second stick Dude, of butter. Dude, that is so much butter. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to cook stuff. You need to ask everybody if he has heart <laughs> problems. No, that's no. a lot of butter. And then you put your other thing in. <laughs> crack about here but this is going to be spread out over like 30 40 people true enough this, this is not a single family yeah. thing and then put that other beef broth right on top of it man and you don't like beef broth i'm not a meat bro meat, meat juice meat juice kind of person <laughs> i don't mind like i'm a good fan of a nice ramen or a broth that's done right yeah as long as the broth isn't chunky yeah oh my, my god no yeah. if it's chunky <laughs> you and if it has so fat then you it. put the 409 hoodoo ah, definitely Book it, book it. There. And then you just mash the lid onto it. Get in there. Don't worry about the butter sitting up there. It will yeah, melt down. It'll melt down in there. Now you put it in there to two to four hours. We put it in for four. Yeah. And this, and is this is what it started what it looking like. like. This is what it came out like. This is delicious. This is outstanding. And I was worried at first because there was just so much cabbage sitting on top, and we started smelling it. It just yeah. smelled like cabbage. I'm yeah. not a big fan. But this stuff is great. It, so after a well, while, start it around a little bit. Boom. Perfect. This stuff yeah, is great. Yeah, it mixed now, in rather it, well. It freezes really well. It cost us right at our ten dollar limit because we did the double portions yeah. of it. But uh, it, the prep time it looks complicated, but it took us like man fifteen twenty minutes the toast, yeah. and it's gonna feed us all week. And there you have it. I told you the four hundred nine mystical hoodoo works on it every time. It's perfect every time I've had it over at Slice Camp. If you ever see him, see if he'll invite you over there. It's great. So you can check it out over there. Excellent food stuff. As soon as we figure out what the name it is. By the time we get the title card, we'll figure out what the hell we're calling this. Whatever. Oh. It's a cabbage sausage dish something. It's probably German or Austrian and no whatever. <laughs> anyway, way, so <laughs> there you have it. You can find us here on YouTube Tuesdays and Fridays or on Facebook at Living Between Paychecks There. Or you can find us at Instagram at Living Between or over on Pinterest at Living Between Paychecks There. Or or uh, Patreon. If you Patreon. want to give us a hand over there, you can really help us out. It's at Living Between Paychecks there. We have some stuff over there. We very much appreciate it. We'll see you next time.